welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I will feature So In Love stamp set with So Detailed Thinlets dies and Falling In Love designer series paper. This is a trio that works really great together. I have so far made a few projects that feature these products and I have to say that by far this is the one that I was waiting for and the one that I like the most. This is going to be an inlay die technique. My card base is made from Sahara sand and once it is folded and scored it is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that is five and a half tall and I brought it in by a quarter of an inch. I wanted to have some margin area on the left and the right. I have saved time um, in the video process by die cutting two times with the belly band style um, thinlet die from So Detailed Thinlet's die set. There's three large dies and this is the one that is in the style of a belly band. I've used silver foil cardstock to make one cut and then I used the thick with thick thick whisper white cardstock to make the other cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in the foil die cut to where it's all one flat layer. So the paper that I am removing from the white cardstock is going to go right back into place with a piece of silver cardstock. And it's silver foil, so it makes it extra shiny and sparkly. Because this is a die cut, there will be some negative space that can be filled in behind the die. I've used a piece of the Falling in Love Designer Series paper, and this is something that is going to all work together. I could have the option to wrap those two pieces around the piece of um, Designer Series paper, but I chose to cut it to have a smooth cut because if I were to wrap them around the back there might be a chance that they would show through when the receiver gets the card on um, like if you look on the side you could you might be able to see if um, if the side was folded over that would be really great on some projects and it really wouldn't matter on other projects however on this project I wanted to make really sure that it looked like it was one solid layer. I did debate whether or not I was going to put something over the um, diamond area in the middle of the card, like a piece of white cardstock or a piece of Sahara sand, blushing bride. I could have used any of those. And instead, I, I didn't want to take away from that piece being silver. So that's when I had the bright idea to do silver embossing. A silver embossing on top of silver foil cardstock is really pretty. The way that I came about doing this was probably not the smartest way because I should have done the embossing before I put the card front together. At least I did think about it before I attached the card front to the actual card base. So uh, uh, that's the way that I feel like I at least saved myself a little bit right there. So I am using a paintbrush to remove any of the stray um, particles from the embossing powder because once I bring the heat gun over to this cardstock, then if there are any particles that stuck to my project, then they will get heat embossed and they will forever become a part of the card stock. And that's not what I wanted to show. Here is a look of the card stock. Um, if you look at it straight on, it just looks like there's a shadow of words or that they are possibly raised up in one area from where the sentiment lies. I'm using a fine tip glue pen to go back in and it looks like a part of the cardstock and the, the um, silver foil did not make a really good connection. So I used my fine tip glue pen to go in and um, re-secure it. However, my fine tip glue pen 
decided that it was going to take over a project and gave me a giant puddle. So I used a tissue paper to go in and take the excess away. Here are foam dimensionals that I'm using to adhere this one single layer over onto the card. I want this to be a very simple card project that has a lot of um, of, of visual depth to the eye and I will finish this off with a couple of sparkly clear sequins from Doris which are great to add to any project. I like the different sizes of the sparkly clear cupped sequins. Because I used embossing buddy to keep the embossing powder away I used a tissue to just go over all of the silver foil. Thank you guys for joining me for another card making tutorial. I invite you to go over to my blog at jennystampsup.com and there you'll find a new card making idea every day. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.